Brazel left Europe for Hong Kong, where he lived from November 1891 to June 1892. His reason for leaving Europe were life was unbearable in Europe because of his political differences of Marcelo H. del Pilar and other Filipino in Spain. To be near his idolized Philippines and family. Brazel left Ghent for Paris on October 3, 1891. He proceeded by train to Marcel Sand on October 18. He boarded the streamer Melbourne bound for Hong Kong. He brought with him a letter of recommendation by Juan Luna for Manuel Camus, a compatriot living in Singapore, and 600 copies of the Philly. There were over 80 first-class passengers mostly European including two Spaniards. He befriended many missionaries and of them his father Fook Satirilis, which he enjoyed playing chess with. He even wrote to Blumentritz saying, He is a fine fellow, a father Damasco without pride and malice. November 20, 1891 Rizal arrived in Hong Kong. He was welcomed by the Filipino residents, especially his old friend Jose Mar. Bassa. He then established his residence at No. 5D, Aguilar Street, No. 2 Rednaxilla Terrace, where he also opened his medical clinic. He wrote his parents asking their permission to return home. Family reunion in Hong Kong. Before Christmas of 1891, he was gladdened by the arrival of his father, brother and Silvestre Ubaldo, his brother-in-law, in Hong Kong. Not long afterwards his mother and sister Lucia, Josefa, and Trinidad also arrived. He wrote to Blumentritt Blum recounting, recounting their pleasant life in Hong Kong as follows. follows. Here we are all, we are living, all together. living together, my parents, my parents sister, sister, and brother and in brother peace and, peace and far, and far from, from persecutions, persecutions they, su they suffered in the Philippines. They are very much pleased with the English government. Enzo P. Marquez a friend and admirer who helped him to build up a wide clientele. He successfully operated on his mother's left eye so that she was able to read and write again. Writing to Blumrauntritt, he said, Here I practice as a doctor, and I have, here many sick of influenza because there is an epidemic. Through the newspaper I am informed that this sickness is also causing ravages in Europe. I hope you and your esteemed family will be spared. In our house, my mother, my brother-in-law and one of my sisters are sick. Thank God, they are out of danger. Rizal was given moral support and substantial aid in his medical practice in Hong Kong from some of his friends in Europe. Mr. Bausted, the father of Nelly Bausted, wrote to him on March 21, 1892, praising him for his medical profession. Dr. Ariston Bautista Lin, sent him a congratulatory letter and a book on diagnostic pathology by Dr. H. Virchow and another medical book entitled Trait Diagnostique by Mesner. Don, Antonio Virgil de Dios, offered him his services for the purchase of medical books and instruments which he might in his profession. Rizal possessed the qualities of a great ophthalmic surgeon. In other words of Dr. Geminiano de Ocampo, a distinguished Filipino ophthalmologist. He had all the qualities that would that would make an ideal ophthalmic surgeon a keep and analytical intellect, lighthouse of touch and artistry of a painter, courage and imperturbability, a broad and deep knowledge of medicine and ophthalmology, and last but not the least, he had been properly and adequately trained by master ophthalmic surgeon. He wrote, Ang Mga Karapatan Nang Tao, a Tagalog translation of The Right of Man, proclaimed by the French Revolution in 1789. About the same time, 1891, he wrote, A la nation española, to the Spanish nation, which is an appeal to Spain to right and wrongs done to the Calamba tenants. The proclamation, entitled, S.A.M.G.A. Cababayan, to my countrymen, was written in December 1891 explaining the Calamba agrarian situation. Rizal contributed articles to the British daily newspaper, The Hong Kong Telegraph, whose editor, Mr. Frazier Smith, was his friend. March 2, 1892 Rizal wrote, Una visita a la Victoria Jail. A visit to Victoria Jail. An account of his visit to the colonial prison of Hong Kong. In this article he contrasted the cruel Spanish prison system with the modern and more humane prison system. He wrote an article entitled, Colonization du British North Borneo par de Famis Isles Philippines, Colonization of British North Borneo by Families from the Philippine Island, to elucidate his Borneo colonization project. 
He elaborated on the same idea in another article in Spanish. Proyecto de Colonización del British North Borneo por los Filipinos. Project of the Colonization of British North Borneo by the Filipinos. June 1892 he wrote, La Mano Roja, The Red Hand, which denounces the frequent outbreaks of intentional fires in Manila. Constitution of the Liga Filipina. Printed in 1892 was the most important writings by Rizal during his Hong Kong sojourn. To deceive the Spanish authorities, the printed copies carries the false information that the printing press No. 25, Kalug Street, London. The idea of establishing the Liga Filipina was originally conceived by José Mar. Bassa, but it was Rizal who wrote its constitution and realized its establishment.